What's up guys? So here's a no bullshit guide to building that perfect chest. And I'm gonna be honest with you, it takes many years to build a physique. And I've been training for 14 years, over 14 years, and it definitely, definitely takes consistency. Um, when I first started, I was one of those guys that would go on bodybuilding.com and look at the latest and greatest workout, and that worked for a while. That's great, that's fine, but um, I needed a specialized program and just a more acute um, program and specifying for me to build the physique that I wanted because everyone's goals are completely different and you clicked on this video because you wanna build a good chest. And I think I have some say in this because I built a pretty decent looking um, chiseled, shredded, I guess you could say, physique. Um, when it comes to chest training though, I would really just focus on the strength for quite some time. I would focus on getting your bench press up, flat barbell bench. If you can't do that, I would progress on dumbbells or maybe even machines. Uh, but if you're injured, I would, would not recommend you doing this type of training at all. I would definitely fix that injury. If you have something such as a rotator cuff tear, this is not gonna be the guide for you. This is not gonna be the type of exercises that you would do. So the reason why I picked the fucking bench press because that is literally the bread and butter. That is the baseline of strength for the upper body, for chest. Of course you want to do the standing overhead presses and I do those with barbell many, many times. Um, I do those every week. I don't do them all the time in the blocks of programs that I have, but I would definitely get your strength up on the bench press if you're, now I'm, for example, I'm 165 pounds, usually on most days, anywhere from 163 to 167. So I'm a pretty small guy, but that's just me. I like being small. I like being um, just more agile. I don't want to be lethargic and heavy. Definitely been there. Um, so I just, I choose this weight class because that's where I feel good at. And I can bench about 295 for three reps. That is my absolute best. Um, I have not gotten 315 yet. I don't know why, because I can bench 295 for three, but uh, that was on a good day, and um, those days don't always happen. But usually I bench about 275 for one to three reps on a weekly basis. And if you can do that, if you can get up to that point, um, if you're under 200 pounds, that's great. Um, that's a good place to be at. Um, not really advanced, but not definitely not beginner. I would say I'm more intermediate on my bench progression. Um, so definitely I would get your strength up on the bench. That is the number one thing because when you add progressive overload on the bar, um, you're going to be adding more weights over time. You're going to, whether it be five or 10 pounds to the bar every month, um, that is literally progressive overload. And that is what it takes to get stronger at the bench, which is going to produce more muscles, more chest muscles specifically. Um, the entire upper body is being worked, obviously, so you'll grow shoulders and everything else. But um, chest is what we're focused on. Um, that is literally the no bullshit bread and butter um, bench press. Get strong at it, just do it. That is the best thing you can do to craft a better craft, that's a weird word, <laughs> build a better chest. Um, so for accessories, I didn't film everything in this video, but I do, I do a lot of different accessories, depending on the week, depending on the day. So um, I would definitely pick chest flies, um, kind of at an angle on the uh, cable crossover machine, and I would definitely be 
having your reps um, about equal, the positive and the negative, you're going to want to control that weight. Um, definitely everything here, um, I would not sacrifice more weight for form. I would definitely have your form perfect beforehand. My form isn't absolutely perfect, but it's pretty good. Um, after doing powerlifting for many years and doing programs like Jim Wendler's 531, that was very helpful when I was younger. Um, that is really what built the base uh, physique that I have and the base strength that I have. So if you can get stronger at that, you can control the weight, control the positive, control the negative on your accessory, accessory movements such as chest fly. Um, whether it be from cables or the pec deck machine, those are the two that I would recommend. And specifically focusing on the upper chest, so when you put the cables a little bit lower and you bring the cables higher, that's going to be more of your upper chest. I would usually never do the decline version of that because I just think it's useless. You get plenty of lower pec after activation on the bench, and you're just going to get the best overall activation with just the flat barbell bench press. So if you were to pick one exercise, it would be a flat bench press. And I would choose a rep range that works for you. I personally do all of the rep ranges, but I focus on more of the lower rep ranges, anywhere from one to five reps. That's just worked for me, um, and I think that works for most people. Um, so you're going to be getting kind of more of a powerlifting workout at that point. Um, I'm a big fan of power building where you're progressively overloading, but also kind of hybrid adding bodybuilding, bodybuilding, um, type of terminology in your program. So, uh, yeah, chest, get better at the bench press. I promise you, you will build a better chest. And as long as you're sleeping enough, at least seven to eight hours every night, uh, as long as you're not getting four hours of sleep, um, that will drastically hinder your gains and your mental performance as well, which is going to affect everything. So having your sleep on point, having your nutrition on point by eating good whole foods, you have enough food, um, but you don't need an excess of calories to build muscle. You don't need to bulk with a thousand calorie surplus. I think that's a little bit ridiculous. Um, but if you just have all those bases in place, you will have the best physique possible and a better chest. If you found value in this video, give that a thumbs up. If you want to add something to this video, leave it down in the comments below. Hope you guys are doing fucking phenomenal. And you can find me on Instagram. You can find me on Twitter, not safe for work. So giving you a warning there. Um, you can find me everything that I do on Paxbury.com. That is my main link hub in the interwebs. And I do a lot of stuff including OnlyFans, um, and I have two of those. So besides giving you workout advice and giving you juicy chest gains, um, yeah, if you like that shit, so uh, go to my website and hit the like button. Don't forget to comment. See you next time.